Hi everyone. Let's take a look at brief exercise 1-5 where we'll be dealing with cost classifications, fixed or variable. Okay, first let's look at number one. Small glass plates are used for lab tests in a hospital. Okay, well would this be a cost that's variable or fixed? And the way we approach that is we have to ask if the activity, the expected activity, would increase, would we expect this cost to increase in t total dollar amount, or would we expect it not to change? Well, assuming that the hospital has more activity, more patients, uh, more lab tests, um, you, you see the thought process here, then we would expect that cost to increase. So I would say that's a variable cost. Let's slide it down and see if that's right. Okay, and we got the X that shows that it is. Okay, number two, straight line depreciation of a building. Well, you should know that with straight line depreciation, we record the same amount of depreciation every year without regard to the volume of activities that are going on in that building or that business. So that represents a fixed cost and would not change. Okay, next, top management salaries. Now that's an interesting one. You would assume that if the business increases in volume they would do better. But by and large if we think about the volume of sales or volume of activity that goes on say over the course of the year, top management salaries is probably fixed and wouldn't change. And that's where it shows up as a fixed cost. Okay, electrical cost of running machines. If we, run, if we have more activity and use more electricity then we expect our electrical cost to go up. So that would be a variable cost. Advertising of products and services. Now we've got an exclamation point here and I think what that means is it probably is a discretionary cost that may um, relate to the volume of activity but it may relate, relate to a manager's preference for advertising. So on this one, um, but, uh, usually advertising is considered to be separate and distinct from the um, uh, um, the, act, the volume of activities. In fact, we may have very little activity, but we're incurring a large amount of fixed, a large amount of advertising, and it doesn't re ref relate to the volume of activities we're incurring, say the number of sales units, in the hopes of driving future sales. So, given that there's no relationship to the volume of activity, that would be a fixed cost. Now, batteries used in a manufacturing trucks. The more trucks we make, the more batteries we would use. I would expect that to be a variable cost. Commissions paid to salespersons, the more sales we make, the higher the commissions, that also should be a variable cost. Insurance on a dentist's office. Normally the insurance rate that the insurance would pay, this would be general insurance, or even liability insurance, may not be impacted by the number of patients the dentist sees, or the number of hours he works, or the number of dollars he or she bills. So I would assume that to be a fixed cost. The leather used in manufacturing footballs, since we're making footballs, the more we make, the more leather we would incur, so the greater the cost of leather, that would be a variable cost. And rent on a medical center, we've seen this uh, uh, no, we haven't seen this example yet. Um, regardless of the number of patients or the number of activities going on, um, the number of labs going on in the medical center, the rent probably will stay the same, so that would appear as a fixed cost. Okay, and that takes care of this problem, everyone.